guys, what is up? Welcome back to another Borderlands 3 video, fellas. Today, due to the uh, homie Boston fan, guys, we are going through some uh, some more of the some more of the buffs. Uh, today, we got the uh, Boomer, nonetheless, right? So this puppy, uh, it's always going to be fire. Oh, this one's kinetic, but basically, like you're you're going to always shoot fire shots. Let me show you, let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me show you what I'm talking about real quick, guys. Oh, also, you know, if you want to farm this, bro, I highly, highly recommend just go uh, farm in the scrap trap nest. These things drop like can't, like crazy over there. I almost said candy. But... As you can see, they're always fire. So just keep that in mind. This thing is always going to drop in fire. Luckily for us, uh, the Vault Hunter that we're playing on today, Moe's Dub, uh, makes fire uh, lava, and uh, it's pretty fucking insane. So, yeah, well, let's go over our setup and stuff real quick. We got the fire old god. We got the minesweeper here, bro. This thing's devastating. Pearl, you know, to coincide with inside kits. Then we have our on grenade thrown at you left to see. Here is our demolition woman tree, that you, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we took one out of Grizzle, uh, mainly for our bear mother tree, so we can act, have big surplus active a little bit more often. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty uh, standard. Uh, here's our shield of retribution tree. Oh, God, I got the hiccups. <laughs> Here's our shield retribution tree. Our drowning. Damn, I keep got, I got the fucking hiccups, dude. <laughs> drowning in brass and then experimental munitions. And then here's our bottomless max tree. Honestly, at this point, the iron banks could fucking use this, but I don't feel like respecting, so I would totally put that bitch in a click click. But yeah, all that stuff being said out the way. I mean, obviously, we have hammer downs. Let's go ahead. Let's get right into the video. All right, y'all, we're over here at the slaughter shaft. We're going to see what the uh, boomer is capable of. Now, this one is a times two variant, so we are going to go through our mag relatively relatively fast here. So. <laughs> but, you know, we'll see what this thing can, is capable of doing, outputting. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and hop an IV real quick. Y'all can hold this hammer down for you, boy. Let's go ahead and hop out IV. Let's reload. Oh, I have some for the road active. I'm done. I don't need to reload. Hmm. <laughs> Y'all can uh, hold that. Oh, damn. That was a really nice size explosion, dude. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, come on, enemies. Oh, no. There you go. Appreciate it. Maniac tank. Uh, sit down, brother, man. I do. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, bro? The thing about, you know, it's only fire. Well, that's fine, dude, because I'm I'm on Moe's. And fire is the, is the way I like to go, as you know, as a Moe's player. Because let's just be real, who the fuck doesn't like to have fire as a most player? You have things like fire in the sky, and then you have things like a mine super that can roll into it. Yeah, I would say that it's it's highly, highly good. Now that being said, I'm not gonna say this thing's like oh, it's cracked out or anything. I mean, I still I I believe 100% that the uh, Chaosin is better than this thing. Uh, first off, it yeah you, you'll be reloading it you know a good amount as well, but like. It, it, it's a chaos in, bro. So like you're gonna just if you're especially if you're using with a minesweeper or even a blastmaster dog, you're gonna completely dump all over the competition with that thing. I mean, this thing honestly just feels like a worse version of it. Like it doesn't have as much damage. It doesn't do as much because it doesn't have natural explosions, or like you know natural stickies, natural explosions, anything like that. This thing is still relatively decent. I, I, I don't know, dude. I feel like for sure that like the KO Sin is better, and you don't have to get DLC to get it. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, though, guys, uh, let's just go ahead and head to the uh, Guardian Takedown. All right, y'all, we're over here at the Guardian Takedown side of things. See what our Boomer can do. You know, I'm glad that this gun did get a buff, man. I'm generally pretty happy when any gun gets a buff because it just makes you know it just makes the game fun when you know there's more guns that are you know kick ass. To be fair, dude, this these the uh, <laughs> these explosions are relatively relatively uh, impressive, dude. Like these, I mean, the boomer is not a pushover, dude. Like it's a it's a good gun, 100. percent It's a good gun, dude. This gun kind of kicks ass. And, I mean, we're downing some of these enemies, like, almost within, like, 
some of these guys were just like kind of like looking at him and instantly killing them. Seems not no like. <clears throat> I would like put this in like so if we got like an S tier, an A tier, and a B tier of SMGs, and then like a C and D tier. I'd probably put this thing as a B plus, a higher ep echelon of B plus, not quite an A, like KO sin. But uh, it's definitely not terrible, you know. You know what I'm saying, bro? I don't know how many people use this gun. I mean, this is like one of those guns that like literally never gets talked about. I feel like the DLC one weapons, except ex for things like I don't know, maybe the ion cannon really don't get that much appreciation or get that much you know love that much time on screen so it's 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 kind of nice it's nice it's nice seeing some dlc one weapons get some love like if i made that honest with you guys i i, I believe that the uh, dlc one weapons were probably the weakest some people might say the dlc two ones nah dude i i think the dlc one ones were the uh, weakest set but overall, I mean, this gun's relatively uh, pretty, pretty nice, dude. Plus, you know, it's always fire, especially if you know if you're a most player, you're gonna like that. That's that's ice. It's that's ice to your ice to your ears, music to your ears. Gosh darn it, dude. <laughs> Sometimes I just have brain farts when I'm talking. <laughs> Anyways, guys, let's just go ahead and let's head over to the uh, Mala One takedown, and I'll see you guys over there. All right, you guys, we're over here at the Mala One takedown side of things. Gonna be cooking up some Malawan troops with our Boomer. Okay, Boomer. Let's see what this puppy is built for the task at hand here. So up an IB real quick. Throw out some uh, hammer down ones. You know what I'm saying, my guy. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep on the, uh, destroying these fuckers. They think they're, they're they they can handle the task at hand, but uh, little do they know that they're not built for it, bro. They're not built for it. They can't handle the heat. They can't handle the fire. Bring on the thunder, bring on the rain. Got a loaded boomer finna fuck up your brain. I don't know, bro. Uh, we're just out here killing shit with our boomer, bro. We we got our doll SMG, man. I'm gonna, need, I'm gonna need that Kraken to come on out, though, bro. Come on, my G. There we go, brother. All right, let's hop into Iron Bear once again. And then uh, you can hold those. Let me uh, not get uh, caught in the crossfire. You know what I'm saying? And uh, let's just go in. Come on. Come on, Boomer. Show me what you're made of. All right, all right. That's not bad. That wasn't bad. Respectable, respectable. Not bad. All right, y'all. We're back at the bridge side of things. We get the Boomer. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what you got. This thing has some pretty uh, fast time to kill. I'm liking it, man. I'm liking it. It's relatively nice, man. It's not that bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's definitely, dude, I just get such chaos and vibes from this thing. Which is funny I'm saying that because this gun came out before the chaos and did. But, like, I have not really used this gun since it came out. Like, at all. <laughs> I don't, dude, I'm saying, like, I just don't really like, use the DLC weapon, the DLC 1 weapons all that much. I'm just really never uh, a big, I was never a really big fan of them. Like, I mean, I like the Lucky 7 and I like the Ion Cannon, but, like... Other ones like they're cool, they're good, and Solvan's cool, the Heartbreaker's cool, but I don't know. I'm just I've never been the biggest fan of the DLC one weapons. That's just my personal opinion though. I feel like as the DLCs went on the the, the weapons honestly just got like almost better and better. Although I do think that DLC three probably holds the strongest uh, DLC weapon bunch. Even still, it's I mean they're just all cracked out over there, dude. I'm telling y'all, bro, next next hotfix, bro, they might buff some of the other DLC 3 and DLC 4 guns. I mean, they did DLC 1, DLC 2 with this hot patch, hot fix. So, I mean, you can't say that's not off the table because that's 100% on the table and in play, dude. Uh, we'll see, though. We'll see for sure, for sure. Uh, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and go over to the Wultan Schmultan Schmackdown. I'll see you guys over there. All right, party people, we're at it. We're at the Wultan Schmultan Schmackdown of a century, fellas. All right, Boomer, let's see what you can do against our boy Wotan over here, man. Let's see if 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 the Boomer is able to hit, sit down the biggest, goofiest robot in the in the Borderlands, man. Yo, can I also just say that, like, the Wotan fight's probably, like, the like the best fight in this game. Like, I wish, like, I could just, like, jump down here and just fight Wotan. You know? The more I've run through this fight, the more I've run through this takedown, the more I, I 
just think that the, uh, the like, the Mount Lawan Takedown as a whole was, like, the best piece of content that this game has had. Especially, like, when this thing, like, when this takedown first came out, bro, it was, like, a relatively new thing for, like, uh, for Borderlands to do, like, a takedown raid-esque activity, rather than just having, like, a, sh a straight boss. It was pretty fucking fun, dude. Like, this, this was a hype-ass moment, man. And, like, obviously, as time has gone on, it's gotten way, way easier. Like, way easier. But it's still a fun piece of content, you know? And it's really nice to do showcases on, too. So, let's just go ahead, man. I mean, I, look at, dude, I'm, I'm relatively impressed by our boomer, bro. The boomer actually is, like, out here. Like, it's it's literally, dude, it's so similar to a Chaos, and it's, like, not even funny. Although, I mean, Chaos and probably hits harder. This thing is not no slouch, though. Like, this thing, this thing's a beast. This thing's good. This thing's really solid. This thing got a buff, and uh, the buff is definitely coming through. You're definitely seeing what it can do. Uh, anyways, guys, that is going to just about wrap up the video. If y'all did enjoy the video, make sure to drop your load on that like button. Subscribe if y'all are new. Uh, also, while you're at it, go ahead and get that bell down there. A bit of a love chat for me. Real quick, though, before y'all leave, let's actually go ahead and go our setup one more time. Fire Old God. We got good set kits on this boomer. Uh, fire old god minesweeper five out of five fire and sky gaining yes sir then we got our beautiful pearl we got our recurring hex grenade uh grenade throwing you know what i'm saying my brother and here's our demolition woman tree nothing into grizzled uh then here's our uh big surplus and our bear mother tree bombless max tree i mean honestly iron bank put that bitch in a click click uh and then here's our shield or retribution tree with max drowning in breath that you'd love to see anyways though guys all that stuff being said not the way thank y'all so much for watching my name's Cree, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.